Welcome to Mishnah Study Mesakh Chikanim Break Bet Mishnah Bet. Over here in this Mishnah, we're going to discuss someone who um stole. He stole a uh, Mahatita Shekel. Right? Does it count for him? Does it count for his friend? Does it count, you know, from the person he stole from or for himself? So I know ten shikl the a person gives a shekel to his friend. Yeah, here's a mahatita shekel. You're going to Jerusalem. Please uh, you know, give it to the Mikdash for me. What does his friend do? He takes that money, that mahatita shekel, and uses it for himself. Right? If the truma was already taken, right? Again, if the treasury of the Bet Mikdash took right those shekalim to be used for the uh, korbanot, then ma'ala shokel. Then it's me'ila for the person who uh, who just used that uh, mahatita shekel that his friend gave him. He used it for himself. He stole it. And it's considered me'ila. Why is it considered me'ila? Me'ila is when you use something inappropriate from hekdesh. Right? You, you desecrated the hekdesh. You have to bring a korban for the me'ila. You have to pay back with an extra fifth. Right? There are other laws that apply to it. And over here we're saying he's mo'el. Right, because he stole from the hekdesh. Right, point over here is because the tuma they already started to use that the original money, the right, the money in the bet mikdash for korbanot. So that coin that still didn't reach the bet mikdash that was in his hand that he decided that this guy decided to take for himself already belonged to the bet mikdash. So he stole it from the hekdesh. He stole it from the hekdesh and he benefited from the hekdesh. Now, what benefit did he have? This guy stole from the hekdesh. What benefit did he have? That he gave him a hasita shekel? That can't be considered a benefit. Why can't that be considered a benefit? And Ramban points out, because mitzvot lav lehenot nitnu, mitzvot aren't given for someone to derive benefit from. So just because he performed a mitzvah, right, that doesn't mean he derived benefit. So what kind of benefit is he deriving? He's benefiting that now people, right, the, the actual um, the, 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 the people, the, the Mikdash, the treasury of the Mikdash, can go ahead and take a collateral from him until he pays his Mahatita Shekel. If you remember earlier, we were allowed to be Mimashken, right? We could take a Mashkon, we could take a collateral from people who don't pay yet. And over here, because this person stole from the Hekdesh, he benefited that right now no one would come after him to take a collateral from his property. That's why there's me'ila involved over here. Now, shekalo mina hekdesh. Let's say a person took the shekel from his own hekdesh. He separated something to be donated to the Beit Mikdash, and he took his mahazit shekel from that, right, right, from that, uh, you know, that portion that he separated already. That was already hekdesh. Now, let's say nitrema truma ve'aharka kareva habehema, right? Let's say if already the truma was taken, right? So his shekel. Right, was already reached later, and afterwards, afterwards, the um, they brought a behema. Right, he, once he put a shekel in, he put his mahasita shekel in, and they bought a an animal, right, for a, a korban. Now his shekel was part of this. So ma'al again, he's mo'el. He stole from the hekdesh over here, right? He stole from the hekdesh over here, and again, what's his benefit? Again, the benefit over here is that. Um, Again, there is no mashkon, and uh, you know, therefore, they they they, they, will, they won't take a uh, collateral from him, and therefore, there's some type of benefit also in this case as well. Let's say shekalo from maaser sheni shviit. He took the shekel from maaser sheni money that he was meant to take up to Jerusalem to go ahead and eat it over there, or from demes shviit, right? From the money of shviit has kiddushat shviit to it, has the sanctity of shviit to it. Yochal kenegdo. So each one he has to eat it. Um, you know, in a, you know, in a, appropriately, um, the way he sh would have been eating the ma'asir sheni. So if it was ma'asir sheni, he would have to take it up to Jerusalem. Or the meshavit, he would have to eat it uh, So he takes some of his own money and he uh, eats um, accordingly.